How can businesses implement best practice when it comes to evolving standards across supply chains, sustainability and cybersecurity? I'm delighted to be joined today by Kobe Friedman, CEO and co-founder of Findings, who help automate supply chain security and ESG processes faster, smarter and at scale. This is Marketplace Matters. Tell me a bit about Findings. Findings is a supply chain compliance automation platform. Uh, we are digitizing, automating, and providing scalability towards vendor visibility for our customers. We work with various customers from enterprise through SMEs and governments all around the world in various sectors. Fabulous. And, and given kind of the enhanced, I suppose, scrutiny um, on sort of supply chains, how would you advise companies to sort of effectively um, manage their, their vendor relationships? And how can technology um, sort of help enable that at, at scale when it comes to, to compliance and, and regulation? I think when you're talking about compliance and regulation in the supply chain space, the key word is accountability. Enterprises are becoming much more accountable for their uh, compliance posture of their vendors, and that requires scale. And in order to do that, the common ways of assessing and auditing vendors and other supply chain partners are not sufficient enough. This is where technology is coming into force, enabling to automate at scale processes that traditionally has been done by human beings. And I suppose there's this kind of an evolving um, landscape of ESG um, and sustainability requirements. So in the context of sort of issuers who, who are listed on the LSE, um, how can you sort of discuss three major trends that are impacting them and how they're adapting their strategy um, to sort of meet de demands and raise funds compliantly? So I think there are actually almost four trends mm -hmm. in the industry. The first three are around what is required, the demand side of uh, our processes. One of them is horizontal growth. The need to do much more regulations around sustainability and also cybersecurity and others require to do much more coverage of the supply chain. If you fail to do so, you have an issue with regulators and your own ability to analyze risk. The second trend is around vertical visibility, the ability to see deeper into your supply chain and to be accountable for that. The best example is scope three emissions that you, uh, companies are accountable for. Mm -hmm. And the uh, third one is moving the needle from periodic or upon onboarding risk assessments to continuously being uh, able to oversee and manage uh, the risk. The fourth element is accountability. Mm -hmm. The fact that companies are more and more accountable by regulators for what they're doing with their vendors. Great, and, and let's talk a bit about cybersecurity, um, which is another area that, that findings focus on. So there's sort of been an introduction um, of sort of various regulations, DORA being one of. Um, can you tell me a bit about some of the regulations um, that have kind of been introduced in the space um, and how should issuers sort of approach these in their, in their strategy? So DORA is one example in one industry, but there are also NIS2, mm -hmm and other regulations and CMMC in the US and all around the world. And basically the regulations are aligning with the trends that I mentioned. Uh, but one needs to remember that it's not only regulatory compliance, it's your ability to do business. Um, uh, supply chain has become the number one attack vector in the industry. Companies in need to continuously manage their vendor risk because it's like the preferred penetration point to the organization that can paralyze a company. And there are examples in recent years. I would say that the main trend in this specific sector is around uh, continuous visibility and to have continuous management of the vendor control posture. That means to be able to get visibility into cloud environments of the vendor, to be able to look into 
vendors that supply software and to be able to understand what are the risks and to be able to contextualize this risk on a continuous basis. Great, thanks Kobe. And, and sort of in the context of our LSE issuers, um, how does sort of the requirement for enhanced transparency and accountability, which, which sort of you've touched on there, um, sort of influence um, their approach to reporting on ESG performance, sustainability initiatives and cybersecurity measures when we're looking at them in sort of the context of accountability to their stakeholders? So who are the stakeholders? Mm -hmm. Stakeholders could be customers, could be regulators, could be the public and could be investors, in my view. Basically, that means that uh, issuers should be much more prepared at any point in time to be able to understand what they need to report, to understand their posture, to understand their supply chain posture, and to be able to respond upon request. That is a major part of the accountability. Uh, in specific regulations, there are also specific requirements, such as DORA that is moving the needle from cybersecurity like traditional assessment and control posture to um, resiliency uh, checks of uh, vendors, for example. The inability to report that in reasonable time might mean issues uh, further down the road in terms of the accountability of the issuer. Excellent. Thanks, Kobe. And, and how are companies who are prioritizing um, sort of supply chain compliance, how are they setting themselves apart um, and how can they use findings to help them gain a competitive edge? So basically, we are looking on the entire domain and we're trying to uh, uh, help our customers to scale to their entire supply chain, to do it fast and to do it with much uh, lower costs compared to any traditional kind of way. Uh, we invest a lot in automation, in AI, in the ability to scale and to build like global marketplaces of verified data for vendor compliance, all aims in order to uh, increase the posture of our customers. So issuers who are working with us either on sustainability or cybersecurity or privacy or trade compliance will be able to scale, will be able to reduce cost per transaction and will be able to meet regulatory compliance requirements and other stakeholder requirements much easier and much faster. Excellent. Very insightful. Thanks, Kobe. Well, thank you so much for joining me today at the LSE. Thank you. For more information on findings, you can visit their Marketplace profile page on the London Stock Exchange Issuer Services platform. Thanks so much for watching.